Hey there, everybody. Michael here, playing Professor Layton in the Unwound Future. Let's continue our game from where we left off. Our story so far. Luke and Layton finally meet future Luke in the casino. They had a showdown with some gangsters, and Layton built a gun out of a slot machine. It was really strange, and half of the gangsters looked exactly alike, and the other half of the gangsters all had funny British accents! They talked like this, I did! I mean, I'm not British, obviously, but even I was offended for the sake of Britain after hearing some of those accents. And who's this guy? Well, that's not exactly what happened, but close enough. Um, because we were there? Why would the paper print lies? I hate to say it, but I think the family controls the media. So in the evil version of the future, evil bad guys control the media. Interesting, and here we are! We are at the restaurant. I think he was one of the guys that we shot. No? Okay, okay, okay. Well, he's not one of the people that we shot with our, you know, gun made out of a slot machine. Ooh, that's a plot point, actually. The boss, Bostro, or whatever his name is, he gets angry really easily. So that's going to be important later on in this game when we have a puzzle. And here's the mailman! How's it going, Shipley? Okay, so Shipley did recon in Chinatown. And he's inside the towering pagoda, and he's forcing the kidnapped scientists to work on his time machine. Wait, the Prime Minister is there, too? Prime Minister Sleepy. Well, I guess it's possible. Wait, seriously? Big Loop, don't run away. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are those the stairs which lead to the underground? Okay, they're not. Never mind. Okay, we go to the river. 
Yeah, come on, Shipley. Alright, so I'm not sure if we have to go to Chinatown or if we have to walk around and talk to everybody for new puzzles. But it doesn't look like any of these characters actually have puzzles for us to solve. Yeah, alright, we don't have any new puzzles, so let's just go to Chinatown. Wait, who's this? I bet she has a puzzle. Free cookies? That sounds delicious! Puzzle number 30, Cookie Conundrum. There are 15 cookies that you have to share in a large group. The first person eats a cookie, then passes two equal portions of the leftover cookies to two other people. Okay, so that means he gives seven cookies to two other people. They both eat a cookie, and so on and so forth. It takes one minute to eat a cookie. What is the shortest amount of time it could take for all the cookies to be eaten? The answer to this puzzle is four. Phew, that's a relief. All right, there's your solution. And I agree with the summary here. This is not a situation that happens very often. Nobody ever wants to share their cookies with me. But I'm getting some cookies now, right? Oh. Delicious cookies. And it's starting to look like maybe I do have to talk to everybody in order to get puzzles. Puzzle number 31, False Memory. Three people played Memory with 20 cards. Memory is the matching game, right? So person A says he has 10 matches, person B says that he has 9 matches, and person C says she has 3 matches. Which one of these three people is a liar? The answer is person B because it's impossible to get only nine matches. Because that leaves this you with two cards soul. left over, and those cards are a match, so you technically get sure. ten matches if you get nine matches. 